great the attitude of I say, a lifestyle of perseverance. Train yourself to persevere. No one applauds a beginner. No one celebrates others because they started something. It's because we're in a generation of false acceptance, seeking for validation. That is why we celebrate the fact that you wanted, you want to start something. You, you still want people to know about it. You know the validation, the acceptance. If not, life in itself do not applaud beginners. Life do not celebrate starters, but awards experts, the finishers. It's not of him that starts. Many people start. Many people have the idea. Many people desire to do it. You know, quite a lot of people want to do it, yes. And at the beginning, they're motivated. But at the middle, or just maybe 25% gone, the motivation drops. They are abandoned. You cannot imagine that according to statistics. Now, let's leave statistics alone. Analyze your entourage. Analyze your friends. Analyze people around you. How many of you started out with your know, resolutions, with ideas, how to make money, how to do this? I want to start this. In fact, many of you des desire to start your YouTube channel. But where are you now? A lot of people started many things. But 95% left it abandoned. It's rare to find 5% in any sphere of life that perseveres to the end. I don't know how comfortable we are with this. And yet we keep wondering why we are not successful. And yet we keep having those that are succeeding. Yet we keep, you know, having this bitter indignation against those that are obtaining results. Why? The question is why? Let's ask ourselves, yeah, some people can be so proud. Some people rub it on you. We are not talking about that. There's always an extreme in life. Let's leave those people out of this. But ask yourself, why do you resent those that are obtaining results? You are aware of how they persevere night and day. You know. But because you couldn't do it, you resent them. But why? The question is, you are the problem. Yes. It has nothing to do with others. Your insecurities, your, your not obtaining results has nothing to do with others. But about you, why do we lack perseverance? Why is it that less than 5% of people persevere in any set task? That's the question. If you've been aspiring to be successful, if you desire to obtain results, if you desire that promotion, if you desire also to be filled with that anointing, what you desire in others, if you cannot go and ask them how to obtain the result, you just persevere. I want that to be your new washboard. That you will never give up. Stop quitting when others are quitting. The moment you see one person quit, that is the time. Double up your effort. Make that your motivation. Make that your... I, 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 let me put it this way. You're like, your... your oh God, Holy Spirit, help me. I, something that should... Your wake-up call. Make that your checkpoint. That's the word. Your checkpoint every time. Yeah, five of us started on this. One had dropped out. At the moment you realize that one person had dropped out, double up your effort. Then you keep going. Of course, there will be times you want to relent. There will be times you feel overwhelmed. It's allowed. But one day becomes a week. A week becomes a month. A month becomes a year. And you know, the next year, like, oh, I wish to do this. I wish to, you know, we reinforce our motivation. Halfway done, we lose it. Stop quitting like others. Stop quitting like others. I want you to tell yourself, like, I'm going to stop quitting like others. I'm going to go pick those things up and push you. You 
one who learned how to cook. Stop quitting like others. The moment you see one person has relented, double up your effort. You keep going. The moment you see someone has relented, even if you too you had once relented, but the moment another person relented or quit, make that your check checking point. Double in your effort. Multiply your resources. And you will be shocked at the result. But there will never be any result if we keep quitting like others. I want you to analyze yourself. What are the resolutions you've made? What are the things you've started out? You've started a lot of things. Well, if something is not working out, it's allowed to do an evaluation. An analysis and like, okay, I'm going to let it go. This is not producing results. But before. How many trainings have you started and you never ended? And you're wondering why you're not getting the desired result? I think we need to wake up and ask ourselves this question. Only the finishers are applauded. Only the, those that end the race receive the award and the medal. Nobody applauds or give a standing ovation for someone that is set to run a race. We need to stop seeking for validation because we are starting out on something. These are things that get into our head and we get carried away along the road. But if your goal is to get that award, you're going to give it all what it takes to achieve to the end. I have friends like, not really friends, but a circle of people around me once in a while, I measure myself. The moment I see that, oh, they are relenting, I'm like, no. I will not, I will not, I will not, and I keep forging ahead. This is not, it's like saying unhealthy comparison. I'm not competing with anybody, we all have a different speed, but the moment I see that, it's like, like I said, a checkpoint. I pinch myself, I'm like, no, Ayo, you are not giving up on this. You need to just go a little more, a little more, a little more. This can be in the space of a year, it can be in the space of three years, it can be in the space of five years. But please, person. Make perseverance your watchword. Make perseverance your watchword. Each time you know that you've neglected a particular thing, tell yourself, this was how others ended up a failure. It's painful, but that's the truth. When you challenge yourself with the, the real bitter reality, it makes you wake up like, oh, others ended up as failure because they started just this. And like, oh no, I don't want to hand up a failure. I must get it. I must get it. And what do you do? You keep walking. You keep walking. You keep walking. I want this to be your lifestyle. Scare failure out of your life. Because you're scared of obtaining that award of a failure. Of being a failure. Of the 95% that are not successful. You wonder why I'm hammering on success? It's not just becoming popular or being known. That's the final success, you know. Success is achieving your desired goal. I am sure your desired goal is not to have a bad on projects. Ah, yes, I once started a training on um, how to be this. Where is the certificate? You cannot tell us anything. Yes, I once started, I once wished to do an investment, you know. I once, you know, and you're just busy shaking your hands and telling us stories. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody ever succeeded or obtained significant results like that. This is a wake-up call. I'm speaking to somebody. Incorporate. I'm not saying you should cultivate because it's difficult to cultivate. Incorporate the life of perseverance into your lifestyle. Stop quitting like others. That alone should be an irritating thing to you. That, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want to be categorized with others that quitted, that abandoned this vision. I must pursue to the end. Even if you do not get the best, even if you don't become the best, you know, that is, if you don't get the best award, one thing is your results will be different. Your results will speak at the end. It is normal. I've never seen anyone that persevere for years and has nothing to show for it. It's impossible. You cannot be at the same level with those that abandoned it years ago. Or months ago. Stop quitting on everything you start. I hope this speaks to you. If not, 
in five, ten years, you're going to regret that. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry to be a bearer of bad news, but that's the reality. It has nothing to do with who you are or your level of influence or education, exposure, connection. Thank you.